Hare Krishna. So thank you very much. I would like to extend my humble gratitude to His Grace Murli Priya Prabhu and His Dharma Patni, His Grace Gauranga, Guru Gaurang Prabhu and all the devotees here. We have assembled on a nice Sunday evening. It is sunny outside. We are all blessed. We have clothes. We have place to sleep. We have all have prasadam. Right? So let us take one hour to glorify the Lord who is providing all of this for us. Okay. Okay, kids class. Right? Yeah. Sudarshan, do you want to go to kids class? Or do you want to stay here? Yeah, go to kids class. Thank you. Hare Krishna. So, now we are in the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita means song of God. Bhagavad means God. Okay, so we are going to discuss from chapter 1, sloka 7 to 11. The Bhagavad Gita that we read is called the Bhagavad Gita as it is. You can see it on the table here. This is the Bhagavad Gita we read from. Okay, this is our authorized Bhagavad Gita. So if you don't have a copy, talk to Murli Apripa Prabhu. It's available in multiple languages. So please get a personal copy. And keep it with you all the time. And please read it. It's not like you buy it and keep it. Okay. okay. So first shloka we are we have we are discussing four shlokas today about the Kuru army. So we are going to go through a war right now. We are going through a war every day, right? Anybody disagree? No. Every day is a war, right? Battle, war, right? Sometimes with weapons, sometimes with words. But we are having war every day, right? Now we'll discuss about war here. Okay, and if you have any questions, please feel free to stop me. I like it when it's interactive. Okay. Sorry, right? Sorry, neither of them. Okay. So text number seven. Asma Kuntu Vishta Ye. Tani Boda Dvijotama. Nayaka Baba Sayasya. संयातंतंत्राविते Okay, anybody wants to try? Asma Kanto Vishitaye Lanti Bhagari Jotama Sanyasa Okay, thank you. Anybody, Prabhuji? Asma Kanto Vishita Ye Thank you. So we'll go to the translation because we're going to four shlokas, so we'll go through the translation. So who is speaking now? Duryodhana is speaking. Okay. But for your information, O oh best of Brahmanas, let me tell you about the captains who are especially qualified to lead my military force. Who is the best of Brahmanas that is being addressed here? Drona Acharya. Okay. Not the drone Acharya. He is Drona Acharya. Right? Okay. All right. Kya ho gaya? Gira niche. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. Thank you, Matita. All right, so this is the first thing I say. Why he is saying this, we'll slowly discuss. Okay. The next shloka, again, translation is there are personalities like you, that is Dronacharya, Bhishma, Pitamaha, right? Bhishma, Karna. We all know about Karna, right? Kripa, Kulaguru Kripacharya, right? He is called Kripa. 
Ashwatthama. We know Ashwatthama. Vikarana. And the son of Somadatta called Bhurishwara. Who are, all, always, who are always victorious in battle. Okay, that is the next translation. Let us briefly look at the purport. Duryodhana mentions the exceptional heroes in the battle, all of whom are ever victorious. Vikarna is the brother of Duryodhana, Ashwatthama is the son of Dronacharya, and Swamidhati or Bhurishwara is the son of King of Bhalikas. Karna is a half brother of Arjuna as he was born of Kunti before her marriage with King Pandu. Kripacharya's twin sister married Dronachar. Okay, now next translation. There are many other heroes who are prepared to lay down their lives for my sake. All of them are well equipped with different kind of weapons and are all experienced in military science. Okay, this one. I want to read the Sanskrit shloka because it is an important shloka, this one. So you see the word. First line says Apparyaptam, right? Then the third line says Paryaptam. Please notice. So there is no way this is written by a man. It is spoken by the Lord. Apparyaptam tad asmakam Alam Bhishma Abhikarasitam Pariyatam Tva Idam Etesham Alam Bhima Abhirakshitam So please note, first one is Balam Bhishma Abhirakshitam. The second one is Balam Bhima Abhirakshitam. One syllable, if you say wrong, the entire shloka changes. This is why this is called Deva Bhasha, Sanskrit, right? It is so powerful, like some of the shlokas, right? Wind, air, wind, only two, right? Sanskrit has more than 10 words just to describe Marutaha, it is Vayuhu. Each thing means different things. It also tells not only the wind, but the force in which it is coming, right? Andi, Tufan, so many words are right. So, the Sanskrit is a very powerful language. What is we are able to communicate? In Sanskrit, we don't have equivalent in Hindi or English. Those kind of powerful feelings we cannot con convey in English or Sanskrit. Okay? Because of Prabhupada's mercy, we are able to translate it a little bit. Okay. So he says our strength is immeasurable, Duryodhana is saying, and we are perfectly protected by grandfather Bhishma, whereas the strength of the Pandavas, carefully protected by Bhima, is limited. Aparyapta means unlimited. Paryapta means limited. Okay, the Sanskrit. So here he is comparing, right? Here is an estimation of comparative strength is made by Duryodhana. He thinks the strength of his armed forces is immeasurable, being specifically protected by the most experienced general grandfather Bhishma. On the other hand, the forces of Pandavas are limited, being protected by a less experienced general Bhima, who is like a fig in the presence of Bhishma. Fig and right? Kaju. Anju Anju Atti Padam, right? Kannada Dhani Yenu Padam? Anju, okay. Atti Anna. Duryodhana was always envious of Bhima because he knew perfectly well that if he should die at all, he would only killed by, be killed by Bhima. Who is the Guru of Bhima in Gada Yutta? Balarama. Hey, somebody can? Right? Okay. But at the same time, he was confident of his victory on account of the presence of Bhishma, who was a far superior general. His conclusion that he would come out of the battle victorious was well ascertained. Okay? Duryodhana. This is the villain side, not the hero side. Okay? Last one. Anyeshu cha sarveshu yatha bhagam avasthitaha Bhishwam eva bhirakshantu bhavanta sarva eva hi. Now he says, now he is addressing the rest of the generals. All of you must give full support to Grandfather Bhishma as you stand at your respective strategic points of entrance in the phalanx of the army. And we will discuss about this, but Prabhupada says, Prabhupada, right? Let's quickly go through because we don't have much time, right? 
Duryodhana, after praising the progress of Bhishma, further considered that others might think that they have been considered less important. So in his usual diplomatic way, he tried to adjust the situation in above words. He emphasized that Bhishma Deva was undoubtedly the greatest hero, but he was an old man. So everyone must especially think of his protection from all sides. He might become engaged in the fight and the enemy might take advantage of his full engagement on one side. Therefore, it was important that the other heroes not leave their strategic positions and allow the enemy to break the phalanx. Duryodhana clearly felt that the victory of Kurus depended on the presence of Bhishma Deva. He was confident of the full support of Bhishma Deva and Dronacharya in the battle because he knew that he did not even speak a word when Arjuna's wife Draupadi, in her helpless condition, had appealed to them for injustice while she was being forced to appear naked in presence of all the great generals in the assembly. Although he knew that the two generals had some sort of affection for Pandavas, he hoped that these generals would now completely give it up as they had done during the gambling performances. See how brilliant brain works. Okay, we'll discuss. All right. Let us take invocation from the Acharyas. Please pray so that I will discuss something that benefits both me and you. ृष्णपादिता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेशा गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्प दुर्भ्य कृपा सिंधु किंग पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीनामे नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश दान जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गृधाधन श्रीवासादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे ओके लेट अस डिस्कस एनीबडी रिमेंबर व्हाट वाज डिस्कस लास्ट क्लास सो द होल थिंग इज Sanjaya is talking to Dhrudrashtra. Sanjaya has telepathic vision, right? Zoom call. Okay, he's on a Zoom call and he's able to see the battlefield. So all of you, close your eyes. We are going to Uttar Pradesh now. We are going to Kurukshetra. Imagine thousands of chariots. It's called a phalanx. So if they hold the line, you should not be able to break the line. Okay. we are going to discuss some yuddha shastra right now both sides most powerful warriors the warrior training begins at 8 years old okay they are breathing itself they do something called kshatriya pranayama normal breathing itself kshatriya pranayama they don't get tired at all they are very strong they are able to fight with their hands stick gada sword bow and arrow they are able to use anything as a weapon so they trained from their childhood to become killing machines that is kshatriya right they wake up at 3 o'clock at till 7 o'clock go for one hour some arth this one artha shastra class come back at 8 o'clock after breakfast again 8 to 11 some other fighting style evening they do strategy how to do strategy for war right So who was expert in this? One person called Drishta Dumnya. He was very good and expert in arranging the army in a way that everybody wins. So there is Yuddha Shastra. There is then people start going to advanced studies. They become Athirathi. So to fight somebody from a chariot is not easy, right? So Ar Arjuna had four horses. One horse power. One horse is one horse power. Four horses. Four horse power. Four horse power engine will how fast it will be. it goes so fast and in that they have to and who is arjuna's driver partha sarathi means nothing driver the greatest supreme lord is actually a 
So now I told you, right? When four horses in the chariot, they go so fast, how much the sound will be? Then how will the person standing, the warrior standing on the chariot talk to the driver? How will she say go left? Right? How will he? Think about it. It's so loud. So they use their foot. When the foot is stabbed on the right hand side of the shoulder, they have to turn the right. The foot is stabbed on the left hand side, they have to go left. And the middle, they have to go straight. So this Akilanta Koti Brahmanta Nayaka is getting kicked by his own devotee. Can you believe this? That's why he is called Bhakta Vatsala. So Duryodhana first saw the Pandava's army. What happened? Good got scared. Right? Okay? Really got scared. Okay? But this is where the diplomacy Artha Shastra comes. If a leader is scared, he should not show it to his praja. I'll tell it in a way to explain. For example, a Grasta leader is there. Let's say this month tight. Okay? Only 3,000 rupees in the account left. 10 more days to go. Maybe he can tell his wife nicely, hey, this month little budget. But he cannot tell in front of his children, wife, that, oh, yo, I don't know what I'm going to do this month. They cannot show their fear. Because to your family, you are Rajanikan. You can handle it. Similarly, Duryodhana is scared. But he doesn't want to show it. Because if he is scared, then what will happen to his whole army? The moral of the army will go down. Everybody will get scared. So even though he is scared, what they say, building strong, basement weak. Right? So he is scared, but he is not showing. Then what does he say? He sees all these people, all these people are there. Then he goes and sarcastically goes to Dronacharya. Why does he go to Dronacharya? Because Dronacharya was his guru. Dronacharya knows all about this guy, where he will get scared. Of. So he is not worried to talk to his guru. If the Grasta has very little money, he can call his friend. Achan, this week I don't know how I want to manage. He can tell his friend, but not his family. There are some secrets you can tell only family. There are some secrets you can tell only friend. So Dronacharya immediately goes to Dronacharya. First he gets very irritated with Dronacharya. What does he say? Look at the army that Drupada's son, that is Draupadi's brother, they have previous enmity, Dronacharya and their father, right? I think you discussed this last week. Yeah, yeah. So, he so sarcastically, Drishta Dumnya has set up the army very nicely. Eh? Like that he says. Then he slowly giving. Then second thing he says, he is scared. Dronacharya might take the favor of the Pandas, Pandas, because Dronacharya's favorite student was Arjuna. What if he doesn't fight fully? Right? So he's scared. So he says, the Pandavas are disrespecting you. He's putting little fire to Dronacharya. So that he becomes ruthless. Dronacharya was an expert in warfare. Right? He was a Brahmana, but he was better than most of the Kshatriyas on the battlefield. Right? So he tells Dronacharya these things. No, Dronacharya is calm because he is not to be agitated by Duryodhana's word. He is a very, very elevated personality, right? Very, very strong warrior. Now, he wants to anger Drona. Okay. Now, Duryodhana has to do, once he said this, right? Now he thinks, what will Dronacharya think of me? Immediately he starts these lines, right? This is called perception management. In in office, right, corporate world, this is called perception management. Oh, we are the best, we are the this, they, they always say that they are best even though it is very bad inside. They never tell the truth out, right? Like some old heroine, they will celebrate 29th birthday, right? Because they don't want to tell people they are old. The cinema people, they will be bankrupt, but they will buy a very expensive car. Because they want to think people, they are rich. This is medical world. They fake. Right? Dye their hair. You know, do all these things. Because they want to do perception management. Now, Duryodhana wants to do perception management. Donatsari. So, what does he say? 
What is a guru? Then he says, our side also is not very bad. Okay, same actress. Our side also is not very bad. There are mighty Yudhamanyu, the powerful Uttamuja, the son of Subhadra, the son of Draupadi. All these warriors are great chariot fighters. Chariot fighter means Rati. So there is Rati, Athirati, Maharati, Dasarati. So fight ten chariots at the same time. They are called Dasarati. Maharati means they can fight any number of chariots. Bhishma was a Maharati. Okay, these are all ranks, like general, colonel, right? Like that, these are all ranks in the, the old age. So, are we still in Kurukshatra? Are you able to see all these generals, right? All the foot soldiers will be wearing the same uniform. You see Bahubali, right? All of them will be, but these Rajas, they love color. Red, green, based on their ranks. For example, some chariots, they will be higher. Some chariots will be lower. Some of them will be on elephants. Depends on what their rank is. Okay, so till the day before these discussions are going on, who's going to become what till the day before? That is why they come into the battle and see what is the final structure they have. One more thing, Prabhupada says in the purport, we should first assess the enemy. We need to have a strategy, right? For example, if a Grihastha has only 3000 rupees in the end of the month, that means he blew a lot of money in the beginning of the month, correct? So that means he did not have a strategy. So Duryodhana is now trying to put together a strategy based on what he is seeing. So who is his main person to win the war for Duryodhana? Bhishma. Because Bhishma has taken an oath to protect the dynasty. He did not marry. He was so old that he had to stitch his eyelids back to his eyebrows. Because his eyelids were falling on his face. He was so old. Right? Yes. Right? So all this story happened 5000 years. Kshatriya means no mercy. Once you come to battle, I don't care what you are. Abhimanyu. He was a 16 year old boy. He entered the Chakravyuha. There were seven generals around him. All Maharatis. They did not say, hey, chota bacha hai, isko kyo marna hai. They did not think that way. He came to battle, he challenged me, I'll kill him. They, seven of them killed him brutally. Abhimanyu. Right? So that is Kshatriya Dharma. Death before dishonor. Karanadani Hagaradha. Nan Satini, but to Avamaryade, what does he say? I don't want dishonor. I will die. But I want to die with honor. But I will not lose my honor. Right? This is Kshatriya Dharma. Right? So this is one of the main things. Okay? Duryodhana was a very good war strategist. So he was sizing the enemy. He planning. Main thing you can plan for the happy scenarios. Right? Happy. This, he will kill them. There, that will kill him. But that cannot happen. There will be failure also on our side. At that time, what to do? So one of the discussions it was, A. Hey, Bhishma Pitama is a very good warrior, but he is old. Right? Nowadays, we, we need elevator, right? We cannot come up the stairs. Okay? Everybody still remember Indian toilet? Nobody, right? Right? Because we are getting old. Janma, Mrityu, Jara, Vyadi, we are all getting old. So, Thuryodhana is worried. Bhishma is so old that even he is engaging with somebody, others can kill him. So, what does he do? He asks other to protect Bhishma. Okay. So it was Vishishta. Vishishta means special war warriors. Okay. There are so many warriors. Like there was one person, Kamsa's father in law, Jarasandha. Jarasandha was born with one father and two mothers. So, if you tear him in half, he'll get up together. So, that kind of special powers are all over there. What will you do? Right? 
Karna had done so many good deeds that when Arjuna was shooting the arrows, it is not piercing him. His dharma was protecting him. So these kind of special situations that all come, what will you do? That is why we need a special person next to us. Life is also like this. So many arrows come at us. Right? Okay. The war was 18 days. It was the bloodiest battle in the history of mankind. 18 days, around 64 crore people died. 64 crore people, 18 days. Nowadays they are putting war, 3 months, 6 months, 2 years, 3 years war. No. Those days, finish the business. Okay, you want to battle? Come to battle, let us die. 18 days. Don't make one mega serial out of this. Okay. Still Ukraine is going on. Only Iraq got over. Afghanistan is still there. They want to drag the war because war is business. For the bullet manufacturer, it is business. So they want to extend it. But those days, it was a Dharma Yutta. Right? They are saying we are Kshatriyas. Who? Pandavas are saying we are Kshatriyas. Give us at least one village so that we can rule it. What did Duryodhana say? One pin, one pin, I won't give you even a small place where you can put a pin. I said, that is not enough. What did he do? He did Adharma with their wife. Which is very, very bad, right? Draupadi was on her monthly cycle during that time. And all these big, big people, right? Kulaguru, Kripacharya, Bhishma. So many people were there. Kunti Devi. All these people are sitting in the courtyard. In the, in the Darbar. Draupadi is falling on everybody's feet. Please save me. Please save me. Please save me. Five husbands, five Olympic champions. One guy is very good in bow. One guy is very good in spear. One guy is very good in gada. Tadakim, tadakim. Ananya chintayanto maam ye jana pari upashate. Tesha nitya dhyukta naam yoga kshema moham yaham. Think about me. Draupadi just said, go in the... Everybody say. Next time you feel miserable, what do you say? That is what Brajwasi also said. Krishna, not Ayo Amma. You say Krishna. From where he came, how that Sari came, how Mataji was protected, we don't know. But that is the Lord. So they messed with their wife. Now any sensible husband will definitely get angry. Correct? And Draupadi said, I will not tie my hair till Dushyasana is killed. Till the Kaurava dynasty is destroyed, I will not tie my hair. So, Matajis, please do not be with open hair. Please tie your hair. This is why they say, okay, it is considered Avamangal. Amangal, what do you say? Um, yes. Okay, 64 crore people, and the only people who are left were these five brothers. Everybody else died. Everybody gone. Bhishma, Dronacharya, Ashwatthama, they all full. Only those people who are left are five people and Ashwatthama's son was in the mother's womb. Ashta. Everybody, not Ashwatthama, sorry. Abhimanyu, sorry. My bad, my bad, sorry. Thank you. So, the weapons were different kind of weapons. Nowadays, we have only fire-based weapons, right? Nuclear weapon, this weapon, that weapon. Those days, there were weapons based on water. They are based on air. These are all weapons. Right? There is a there is a bana, maruta bana. If he gives, there will be an andi on the other side. All of them will. There will be another bana. If he leaves, there will be flood on that other side. Then there is Nagastra, Brahmastra, Pashupatastra. All nuclear weapons, atomic weapons. Right? So people are very trained. Okay? So Duryodhana says all this and then he glorifies Bhishma Deva, that Pariyaptam Shlokam, right? He says that side only Bhima is there. He is actually scared of Bhima. Bhima has a lot of motivation to kill Duryodhana. He says that side only Bhima is there but we have Bhishma Deva and he glorifies Bhishma Deva. Then if, if you glorify somebody, what will the other warriors feel bad? He, he didn't tell about me, he is totally telling depending on Bhishma Deva. 
So immediately as a leader, what does he do? Okay, you are, please protect Vishwadeva. Immediately he appreciates them also. So all this is diplomacy. Okay, any questions so far? Does it make sense what I'm saying? Yes, bro. No, so you cannot wage a war alone. Right? It is all about cooperation. So Bhishma knows that. And Bhishma internally was a pure devotee of the Lord. Bhishma, even though he was on the other side, how many of you chant Vishnu Sahasranama? You know who spoke Vishnu Sahasranama? Bhishma is a pure devotee of the Lord. He is one of the Mahajanas. But the Lord wanted, the, the Bhishma wanted to have a Shival. What are you he wanted to be in a warrior rasa with the Lord. There are many rasas, right? Hirani Kashipu, Hirani Aksha, they had a warrior rasa with the Lord. Similarly, he had a rasa. So that is why the Lord, he comes as an enemy of the Lord and Krishna lifts the chariot wheel to hit him. Okay? So finally, Arjuna, Duryodhana says, I am ready to, there are so many people who are ready to lay down their life for me. Right? He said, we will win this war. War, victory is ascertained. That's the last line. Right? Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, thanks. Thank you so much. Okay. Now let us think about the Supreme Lord. This is what happens. If you read Srimad Bhagavatam, there is so much description about Hiranya Kashibu. Everybody knows Hiranya Kashibu Narsingh Dev Pralan Maharaj? Okay. There is so much description about Hiranya Kashibu. His palace was made of gold and marble. He had everything. His wife was so beautiful. So this is the this is the character of a person who is going to get finished in the end. He has everything and he thinks he can do it by himself. Hiranya Kishpur said to Pralad Maharaj, I am the Supreme Master of the Lord. So you have to chant. So Idu Kobu Antara. This is an arrogance that my family, I went to school, I am studying, I am earning, I am feeding, my wife, my house, where is God here? This is Hiranya Kashmu's mentality. Same mentality Duryodhana has. What does he say? I have his mother, I have this, I have that, I have that, I will wear him. So first please remove that. This is not your house. This is Krishna's house which is given Bhadge for 70-80 years for you. Ashtar, after you die also this house will be there. Somebody else will come for Bhadge. It's just there for you. Just because you have a property document. Doesn't mean this Panchabhuta earth is yours. Guru is saying, I will kill all the Pandavas. But Arjuna said, I don't know what is going to happen, but I have Krishna on my side. Tunki mere paas, Krishna hai. Everyone can be against you. Your family, your friends, your office. But the Lord will never abandon you. He says, Name Bhaktya Pranishyati. My devotee will never perish. So you can leave everything. But please take a hold of the lotus feet. That is what Arjuna did. That is what the Pandavas did. Let us take shelter of Krishna because he knows our future. Right? Only when Krishna showed his full form, right? Virat Rupa in 11th chapter. In 10th chapter, 
Arjuna did that. Finally, what happened? Krishna moved the Amasya. Have you heard of that? Bodhain Amasya. Right? One day, Krishna took his Jalapatra and he went to do Tarpana. Everybody thought if Krishna is doing Tarpana, today is Amasya. He did all Krishna, the entire plan was this. Right? If Krishna wanted to stop the war. Why was the war? Why did the war happen? So that we get this book and we have something to discuss. Right? Krishna did all the past and Jaha Sabha Leela Koilo. Right? Krishna says in the Vrindavan Mahatma. Krishna did all those past times so that we can have something to discuss about him. Right? I just say there is a person called Krishna, Krishna, but you don't have anything to discuss about. So, the entire purpose of Mahabharata was for the Gurata Bhagavad Gita, the Kurukshetra war. How does one mentality, why should he speak in the war? Why didn't he speak the day before to Arjuna? Why did he speak in the war? Come on, guys. Why did Krishna speak Bhagavad Gita in the war? Anybody? First of all, somebody going to war, how will their mindset be? Sir, you are the only one. You are the only one. You are the only one. How do you So, that desperate Arjuna was. And he says, what does he say? You will see in the later chapter. He says, my, my bow, Gandhi war is ruthless. It's bhayankara. When I hit the arrow, Anybody opposite will die. Why should I kill all these people? So he has an existential crisis. And he says, Krishna, Karpanya dosho pahata swabhava Prachami tvam dharma sammoda chetaha Nishreya shantan bruhitan bruhitan ne Kitya seham sadi mantham kapannam I don't know what to do. I am your disciple. Shishya Steham, please advise me. How many of you go to Krishna like that? Please advise me, Krishna, I don't know what to do. Before plane leaves, we pray. Before train leaves, we pray. Right? But do we surrender? First thing, Krishna doesn't want anything from you. He has everything. What does he want? Your pure love. Right? He has everything else. Only thing he doesn't have is your individual love, he doesn't have. And that is what he is trying to do. That is why Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. So that he can distribute this Prema Bhakti through which we can serve and love Krishna. Right? The concept of love we have, Dil to Pagal hai, bhi Pagal ho. Right? That is not love. This is pure Prema Bhakti. The gopis, Radharani, the Goswamis of Vrindavan, they showed us what is this pure love for Krishna. Right? Ananya Chinta, right? Without any other thought, 100% always thinking of Krishna. It is not easy. Beyond discuss about Krishna, everybody is charged now. You go outside, 15 minutes later, some Atta comes in front of you, hey, hey, done. You forget Krishna. It's very easy to forget Krishna because Maya Devi is very good at what she does. It's very easy to forget Krishna. Okay? Any questions so far? So be like Arjuna. You might have the skill. You might have the strategy. You might have the talent. You might have the facilities. But still Arjuna dependent on Krishna. He did not say, I can win the war. He never said that. That is the mark of UOD. Wherever they go, they always feel the Lord is protecting them and they have to serve the Lord. Okay?
we'll come to the end. So Srila Prabhupada, how many of you know who is Srila Prabhupada? Anybody new here? One of you know who is Srila Prabhupada? Okay, if you don't know, please let me know, we can discuss. Srila Prabhupada is our founder, Acharya, in the line of disciplic succession of Gaudiya Vaishnava. Right, Srila Prabhupada is a direct disciplic succession from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a direct incarnation of Lord Sri Krishna and Srimadhi Radharani. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took birth in 1418 in the place called Nabadweep in West Bengal. Why did he come? Okay, let us briefly discuss. Two minutes, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay. The Lord says in the Bhagavad Gita, what does he say? Paritrayanaya sadhuna vinashaya chadushkruta dharma samstatranataya sambhavami yuge yuge. Paritrayanaya sadhuna to protect the devotees. Vinashaya chadushkruta to kill the demons. Dharma samstatranataya to establish the principles of dharma sambhavami yuge yuge. Right? I will, I will appear again again. Right? So when he came, when Kamsa was there, he came as Krishna, killed Kamsa. When Ravana was there, he came as Rama and killed, the, killed Ravana. Right? Like that, Hiranya Kashibu, he came as Narsing Dev and killed him. Now, there was a time when in each Yuga, we could tell who is the demon and who is the Devata. Correct? But in Kali Yuga, inside us, there is a demon and there is a Devata. In each person. Right? Have you ever, I'm pretty sure all of us have a situation where we behave like demons. And later thought, why did I behave like that? Right? Where did the demon come from? We have the demon inside. Their names are Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Mada, Matsa. They will come any time they want. So, when you know who is the demon, you can actually kill him. But one guy, there is both demon and Deva. How will you kill the demon? Can you do it with bow and arrow? Or can you wrestle him and kill the demon only? No, the devata also will die, no? How can you kill them? Because he is Supreme Personality of Godhead, he devised a new weapon called Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. When you chant this, you are slowly killing the demon inside. And your devata will grow. Suddenly, in five years, they'll say, what happened to you? Hey, you changed, yeah? You look very different, huh? You're going to Iskon, huh? Wow. Look so different. Suddenly, you'll see this change and your face will be brighter. You'll not get angry that much. Suddenly, you'll see all this transformation. You don't like to eat outside. You don't like movie songs. You always think about Krishna. Suddenly, you feel like, well, what happened to you, man? This is a very powerful weapon. Right? And it's very effective. The more you use it, the more your devata will grow and your demon will die. What used to irritate you doesn't irritate you. Right? Right? I have had situations where I used to get angry so fast. I was such a short temper guy. Nowadays I'm like, Right? Slowly you will see transformation inside you. Right? And you'll see. Yes, yes, Mataji. Huh. Ah, very good point. Okay. Correct, correct. So, very good point. Very nice, very nice. Very good question. Keep the questions coming. In Africa, in Africa, if there is a tribe, if they want to kill a tree, right, they will all surround the tree and say bad words. In three months, the tree will die. There is definitely like this. So, first thing, why do you want to correct them? Is it your responsibility to correct them? If yes, how do you correct them? Hey, tu sudraya nahi, main tarako chaku mar dunga. If you use this language, right? People are not going to. Right? First thing, 
you show by doing the right thing. Right? When I got married, I used to put the wet towel on the bed. I'm telling my personal example. Initially, my wife used to scream. No, no, no. When, I, when she used to scream, earlier unconsciously I was putting, then I deliberately started putting on the towel. Just so that she would scream. Then you know what she started doing? Every day I put the towel. Without saying anything, she will fold the towel and keep it inside. She did this for six months. Next time I want to put the towel, I felt bad. Then I stopped doing it. How do you correct others? Matters a lot. Right? When you are correcting others, you have to make friends with them. You correct them and finally they become your enemy. Pyaar se bolna. Satyam bruyat, priyam bruyat, nad bruyat, satyam priyam. Dohe. Right? So when you correct somebody, first thing, if it's your child, definitely you have to correct. Somebody like my mother, you, you know, that correction should not be there. Right? My mother, the way she corrected me, if somebody else was corrected, we will just leave. So, pyaar se bolna. If they don't understand, show how it is done. Right? These things. Right? So, third thing, if you see something on the road, Right? You watch their behavior. If it's consistently happening, you talk to them nicely. Sir, how are you? Okay, here is some prashadam from the temple. By the way, I have some one small thing if you don't mind. So you talk with nicely, then they will definitely listen. If you go on an angry mood, why does the angry mood come? It comes from your false ego. Your false ego tells you are correct. So you have the right to yell at others. When you chant this mantra, your false ego goes down. You finally identify yourself as servant of Krishna. And you are insignificant in front of the Lord. Right? That time, this ego, Kobu, Kramandatana, or Kya Right? I am I am God's gift to mankind. I want to correct everybody. This attitude goes on. Because you are not the controller. Krishna is the controller. Right? Let's say somebody doesn't have a leg. Will you go and tell him, hey, walk properly? That is what is happening. Anybody who is doing mistake, they are disabled inside for some reason. You have to understand. So immediately you want to yell. <laughs> So, it is a practice, Mataji. Okay, like I said, I used to have a lot of short temper initially. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, definitely, if somebody is having a heart attack, don't say, Pyaar se bolunga, bhaiya. You have to react where you have to react. But don't lose your cool. The chapter, second chapter, there is a four set of shlokas. Dayato, Vishayam, Punsaha. Right? Why you lose your calm and why you get angry? There's four shlokas, sequential shlokas. Please come to that class. It tells why you are getting angry and why you are shouting at others. Right? Right? Okay? It's okay, Mataji. Try, try, pyar se, ek do bar. For next week, we'll discuss. Right? Okay? Anybody else, any questions? Thank you. Thank you for that question. Right? The more you question, the more you learn. It shares in the Shastra, Satato, Brahma, Gigas. Yes, what is it? Yes, what is it? Be fixed. So, because that, I cannot delay that. Okay. Yeah. How many, how many, how many, how many children do you have? No, how long did it take? Yes. So this moment only I need the answer. So this moment only I need the answer. You do your duty 100%. Whatever you can do, you do. Whether it happens or not, not in your head. That is what this shloka, which shloka is it? 
karmani adhikaraste so you do whatever you have to do okay send a email call that person you know check yourself do whatever but don't expect it will happen right so krishna said arjuna shoot the arrows i will kill them whatever you have yes yes for example your kid is hungry right you have to cook food you cook nice food you keep it in front of the kid the kid says amma i have to play so it goes to play what happened all your cooking and thing you have done your duty you have cooked the food you have kept there whether the kid eats or not is not in your hand this is what is called as right you detached detached delivery of duty you have to be detached but still do your duty we'll discuss in karma yoga this comes in karma yoga okay anybody else otherwise we can wind up the call right please come regularly please chant like i said when you see a demon inside you that time you chant every time you see a demon chant you can chant for others also for example when you chant there is a small ant or insect they also benefit when you chant chant loudly chant whenever you can to sleep night morning no qualification required trinadapi sunai jana tarorapi sahishana amanina manadena kirtanya sada hari hi chatarma prabhu says okay all right any other questions or comments suggestions corrections yes mata ji correct no right correct ोल don't try to i should not think i should not think i should not think i should not think that will never happen you heard that story na somebody says while eating this medicine don't think of mango doctor says this guy please don't think of mango while you're eating this medicine every time that guy takes a medicine what is it <laughs> so when you say okay my mind is going away my mind is come back come back come back come back no here what we do is when the child when the child is playing right for example this child he takes a big knife and says amma i want to play with it hey, give the knife give the knife he don't give what do you do hey laddu lenu give it a laddu automatically the knife will fall down ye man ke liye laddu chahiye wo laddu hai maha prasad this maha phool ye agarbatti kirtan all these are different for your nose for your ears for your mouth for your eyes this beautiful decorated lord you engage the mind and give it let do if you tell don't go here don't go there it will go it will go the drunk monkey wants to jump around we should give it a mango it will sit in one car and eat it nice so that is why you come to this class we associate with devotees the other one that helps when mind is roaming around three or four of you chant together right you can set up a zoom call or a phone call sit together and chant because when you when you hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare this gyat no thank you sir when somebody else is chanting it again gets pulled to hare krishna that is why it is called congregational chanting sangha is all of us sat sangha right we all chant the names of the hari okay okay we are getting late bolo shila prabhupada ki banke bihar